So let's try and write some numbers in other bases. And so the thing to remember is that in base n, we have names for amounts between 0 and n, and we also have abstract symbols for amounts between 0 and n minus 1, but if we have larger amounts, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to form these into units consisting of n objects apiece. And then when we write our number, we're going to record how many of which units. And the key thing to remember here always is that arithmetic is bookkeeping. So, for example, let's take an amount and let's see if we can express this amount as a number in base 3. So remember in base 3 we have names for the amounts 0, 1, 2, and 3, and we have symbols for the amounts 0, 1, and 2. And so we don't have a symbol for a set of three things, so what we'll do is we'll start by taking sets of three. And so we'll look and see if we can find a set of three. Well, here's one and we'll put it together. And here's another, and we'll put it together. Another set. And another set. And it looks like we don't have any more sets of three individual objects. However, notice that these blocks that we formed by taking three cubes, um, there is a set of three blocks we can put together. So we'll put together that set of three blocks, and there doesn't seem to be three of anything else that we can put together. So as far as the bundling is concerned, we can't put any more sets together, and arithmetic is bookkeeping, we can now record the amount that we have. We have one of these big squares, we have two of these blocks, and we have one of the cubes. Now to write our number in base 3, we're going to go through two final steps. Uh, first of all, we don't need these base designations as long as we remember that we're going to write down our amounts in order from largest unit down to the smallest unit present. And so I can drop the unit designations. And then to avoid later confusion, I do want to spell out the fact that we are working in base 3. So I'll spell that out, and there's my number 1, 2, 1, base 3. And again, a quick reminder, it is very important to remember that how you speak influences how you think. We should read this number here as 1, 2, 1, base 3. We should never, 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 never read this as something like 121, base 3, because it is not 121, base 3. It is 1, 2, 1, base 3.